five minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Um, I really do appreciate the perspectives uh, of the um, at NASA on the importance of aviation safety research and the partnerships that are required between the federal government and industry. Uh, as ranking member of the Committee on Science, Space, and Technology, I believe that research is absolutely essential to developing unbiased practices and techniques uh, that we can deploy to mitigate, mitigate risk. Uh, can you, Mr. Sultan, speak more to the value of these partnerships between the federal government and industry and identify areas where the federal government could benefit from additional resources to address the emerging challenges uh, in the aviation space? Uh, thank you for the question. So in regards to the partnerships between government and industry, it's absolutely critical because uh, for us and the NASA's research, first of all, we use it as a guiding principle in trying to determine what are actually the community needs. What, is it, what are the tall poles that the users of our eventual system, the eventual users of our systems will need and will apply? So getting that feedback is critical. Uh, in addition, as we develop these systems, it's critical to be able to constantly evaluate the benefits of, these, of our research products in the operational environments as exercised by the users. Um, a good example I can give is, for instance, on our development of prognostic tools for data mining, using the data mining of the data that's within the ASRS and SIS data. Uh, we work uh, extensively, for instance, with Southwest Airlines uh, out in Dallas, where they exercise our algorithms and provide feedback in terms of how useful they are and what, are, what additional safety uh, um, uh, issues those tools and algorithms unearth that were otherwise unknown. Uh, so these are kind of examples that I can provide. Likewise, when it comes to UAS, uh, these small operators uh, they have tremendous capability in terms of being able to provide capabilities in terms of detect and avoid and uh, communication capabilities that already exist in other realms, not just aviation, that can be brought to bear. So we, are, uh, we, we work quite extensively with, I mean, you can look at it in terms of the IT sector on how, uh, how far advanced uh, certain capabilities are and can we leverage those to essentially apply it towards, uh, towards the uh, aviation community. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Bafrini, uh, we have uh, probably the safest system um, in the world in terms of um, our safety record uh, in our complex uh, aviation system. Uh, your technology, your testimony speaks to investing in the right safety enhancements for aviation industry. Um, it is my belief that probably Congress should not dictate whether to invest in a particular technology, rather it should encourage the FAA to establish technology neutral standards for industry to pursue. Given that the United States has already deployed a comprehensive network of ground-based ADS-B receivers and there is a mature AT, C modernization outlined in the next gen roadmap. What is the benefit of space based ADSB and for the United States, and how does that benefit compared to the projected cost of space based ADSB on the annual basis? Thank you for the question. Um, as you know, this was uh, one of the um, uh, mandates that we have to study the benefits of the space-based ADSB, and that's the work that has been going on uh, for some time. And I think at, once we have the, um, the uh, information uh, and um, through the Next Gen Advisory Committee and the recommendations that will come to the FAA, we will decide what, what we can do. At this point, um, I can see how you may feel that there would be uh, duplications. We already have a system in place, but until we have the, the experts taking a look at that to see if there are other places uh, that we are we do not have coverage, and we could get that through the uh, uh, space-based um, ADSB. At this point, um, I can't make any more comment beyond that. 
Thank you very much. The time has expired. Thank you. Uh, the chair now recognizes the gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Mitchell, for five minutes.